Hey guys, this is your boy Dino aka DRP here. Welcome back to another video to my channel. And boys, the boy is hype. <laughs> boys and girls, your boy is hyped. <laughs> I wonder why, because I'll be reacting to uh, Ruby. And boys, oh boys, oh boys, we're going to be reacting to the last two episodes of this volume, volume 5, chapter 11 and 12, is it? Is it chapter 11 and 12? No, chapter 13 and 14, my bad. Chapter 11 and 12 was the last video reaction, which was absolutely insane with the amount of things that was happening, starting from the in denial I had with um, Weiss. <laughs> you know, the worst part was people commented on that video saying, at least you got to watch the next episode where when uh, Weiss got stabbed in uh, chapter 11 and she goes to fall down on the floor and they ended the episode like that people had to wait for a week for chapter 12 meaning people would have started thinking all sort of things so it, it was a lot more painful for them to handle so i get to watch it straight away so i understand the pain <laughs> um but the main highlight the main highlight of the last episode reaction had to be uh the reveal of raven being the true spring maiden um that was the biggest uh biggest w for raven uh because she actually fooled sin into thinking um it was the other girl i forgot her name unfortunately but yeah got got her to think uh that it was her that was the spring maiden i mean they fooled me they fooled me because it's it, it's it makes sense though someone in the comment section said if you notice whenever she uh whenever the other girl tries to act like she's using her spring maiden powers uh raven's always in the background and she's always wearing her mask as well and that's a good thing because when you're wearing the mask when she's wearing the mask if she's going to use her maiden powers uh the main giveaway of using maiden powers is those flare in the eyes right and if she's wearing a mask you won't be able to see that <laughs> so it, it was it was just done so well like they played cinder big time they played me big time and i'm sure they played a lot of the viewers big time i love it i love it i, I, I was like i was like the moment when cinder said um why can't i feel any power when she was trying to siphon it off her uh raven was like you're not gonna find any powers there <laughs> i was like mm, let's go <laughs> like i was mad hype i was i was, I was like a kid <laughs> in the last episode reaction so um these two episodes are going to be insane let me let me tell you that you're gonna it's going to be insane uh especially chapter 14 because chapter 14 is basically the finale of um uh finale of volume 5 right and there's an after credit scene of course there's an after credit scene in every finale of each volume a uh, finale episode uh, you would say um so i like this where this is going to go so chapter though i'm going to be reacting to both of these chapter 13 and 14 today it's going to be a fun reaction video guys it's going to be a, a slight a longer video because the finale episode tends to be much longer compared to the other episodes in the volume which makes sense obviously it's the finale you want to make sure you put more time more effort and more story i get storytelling into it with the extra credit scene at the end so it's going to be much longer compared to the other episodes uh so yeah let's get to it guys i don't i don't want to waste too much time talking about this your boys kind of can't contain this excitement <laughs> kind of so yeah let's get to it shall we um <clears throat> obviously i'm recording this uh on the 11th of august fuck i can't even put my arm like this now if you guys remember uh i don't know if uh, people watch my mind reactions i don't know how much of you guys watch it i got my vaccine yesterday uh, i've got my first dose of vaccine yesterday and my arm is fucking dead i can't if i was to do what i normally do like this it starts killing me like my arm's dead <laughs> so just finished work got back had something to eat and here i am <laughs> recording um so i'll get ruby reaction and uh, because the thing is you know there's always the whole um Teeth situation of emailing them and, and then unblocking my video so obviously i can't tell when this goes out exactly but i am recording this on the 11th of august if anyone's wondering so yeah let's get to the first episode of the double reaction guys shall we um it's why i do double reactions because it makes sense um because this uh, ruby reactions always take longer to uh get posted out due to the whole situation of getting blocked and then getting in contact with Rooster Teeth. so it makes more sense and it's uh better for you guys and for me as well because i get to progress faster on each video and you guys get to see more of my reaction and more episodes so yeah 
Let's get to it, shall we? Mm, no, that's too high. So the first episode of the double reaction is chapter 13 of volume 5. Downfall? Ho oh, ho. What's chapter 14's name? Haven's Fate. Ha oh, oh, ha oh, ha. This is going to be good. So, if, so obviously we are going to see Raven go up against Cinder. Oi! Oh my god, Maiden versus Maiden. Oh yo, the Maidens are going to go at it with each other. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay, your boy needs to stop getting excited, excited alright? I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit too excited, I'm getting a bit too hyped. The fanboy inside of me for Ruby is starting to shout a bit. <laughs> so, hey man, you can understand why. <laughs> like people, uh, but I was also surprised that people said, um, a lot of people mentioned that um, a lot of the people weren't, like a lot of the fans weren't too happy about, um, too happy about how volume 5 played out but um they they mentioned the reasons why which obviously i understand where they're coming from with some of the reasons they said in the conversation it makes sense but i don't know to me in my opinion i've been finding volume 5 an absolute absolute banger i mean i feel like it's because you know a lot of the fans come into ruby looking for non-stop action right so when it gets to i think volume 5 was a lot more storytelling than action I'll be honest, it was a lot more storytelling, especially with uh, Team Ruby being disbanded. Uh, it was a lot of a uh, lot of storyline and character development for each of the characters in Team Ruby uh, for Volume 5, which I felt like, uh, I'm not going to lie, the fact they dedicated something like that towards these uh, important characters and important lessons and character development for a season, and obviously there's action in there, but... Obviously, they made sure they um, put some thought into this. Like, you know, it's not going to be always about action, right? It's going to be a good storytelling, especially with the whole uh, relics and the whole maidens and, you know, Salem as well in the mix. I, I really liked it. I really found I found Volume 5 really interesting. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yeah, to me, I, I just loved it. <laughs> I loved it. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. If you guys want to go ahead and grab something to eat or drink, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and pause the video. If not, that's also fine because I'm going to go ahead and jump into this reaction. Boom. Um, obviously, you guys are probably thinking, why am I switching back and forth? I just don't want this reaction to get co-opted and, you know, anything go wrong. You know, it's happened in the past. I don't want it to happen again. <laughs> so let's get to this in three, two, one, go. Right, I'm going to skip the opening. Man, you can't contain the six, seven. Hey, that, it's just the, the way they've done this. Oh, let's go, let's go! Right, come on, we have to see the reunion, the reunion of Team Ruby. Hey, we have to, have to. Oh, hey, let's go! Oh, yo, that switch, though. Wow, really? Uh -oh. What are you gonna do? Now? Oh, she's been taking lessons, you idiot. Exactly, she's been taking lessons. Come on. Whatever it takes to shut you up. <laughs> Let's go. You guys doing okay? I I think so. She's coming too. Damn that healing. I just wish this would go faster. How about you don't complain and just be thankful you unlocked your semblance when you did? Exactly. The semblance. That is his semblance. How else do you think you're healing her, dummy? That's a sick semblance. I'm not gonna lie. Support a character for the win. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm healing her. Aura heals our bodies. It feels. It feels more like I'm using my aura to amplify hers. Wait, aren't you worried about running out? Wait, so that's his semblance? Everyone's told me I've got a lot of it. Whoa, 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 whoa! So his his semblance is not even healing, but his semblance is basically using his own aura to amplify Weiss's aura, so that her healing process goes faster. Is what I'm hearing. So what I'm hearing is his semblance is amplification, aura amplification, basically amplifying aura. That is wow. Okay, that's kind of like a double-edged sword, to be honest, because obviously you're using your aura to amplify other people's aura, meaning you're gonna run out of aura if you keep on using it, right? So damn, that is a double-edged sword, but great support indeed. <laughs> That is actually John? sick. Hey. Ouch, man. Ah. 
Nah. Damn, dang good. Nah, that's a direct hit. John, what's happening? Shh, don't talk. Heady hit. You need to stay with me while the others fight. That's annoying. <laughs> good to have you back, Weiss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Crow, man. Hiding behind the face of a child. Oh my god. Wow, well <laughs> No! No, not not directly to Oh no. That's annoying on Oh! Oh yo! I semblance. He can block out pain. It's how he's able to handle injecting so much dust into his body. Wow. That's crazy. That's an interesting semblance, you know. I don't need him to hurt. Tame. Just need him to go down. Wait, let's go, Noah. Good lord. What's going on in there? Tame. None of your concern. Tame. He just got hit straight up like that. He's gonna inject more? Are you serious, bro? This dude is willing to go that far. I'm sure he's destroying his own body in the process by injecting dust into himself. There's no way that doing this is gonna come without any consequences, alright? This <laughs> this is this is like this is like you're trading in power for your own body basically. You're basically pushing your body past your limits to gain power at this point and it's gonna come with consequences. It's got. Oh, it's almost like um, Goku's Kaioken, right? His Kaioken technique increases his speed and power tremendously for a short amount of time. But you see what happens to his fucking body. He starts deteriorating. <laughs> the more time, the more he amplifies the Kaioken, like times ten, times twenty, times fifty. I think he only did times ten. I remember on <laughs> Super Saiyan Blue. But you get what I mean, right? Um, the more the consequences are, like his his physical um like his physical body after he using it like the afterward you know the aftermath of it it's gonna be pretty bad it's kind of almost feels something like that because he's amplifying his own strength at this point but his body's gonna give up at one point <laughs> there's only a limit sorry if i'm a bit too excited energetic today for this finale <laughs> It's just too good, man. Ruby's just one of my favorite shows. <laughs> Stay focused. Our friends are almost done here. Adam! Oh my god! Yo! Blake? Blake, let's go! Who is that? Stand down! Yo, let's go, Blake. Wait. <laughs> to think that I went through so much trouble to find you. Only to have you deliver yourself to me. Not quite. This isn't what's right for the Faunus. Stop what you're doing and we can end this peacefully. <laughs> you're That's, wrong, Blake. It's not an option. Hey, and you on. can't stop us. Exactly. No, <coughs> I can't. But they can. <laughs> not by myself. Okay, <laughs> okay. I thought she was going to pull out Thor and be like, I can't. But they can. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. I think I think it was like Thor. What Thor Ragnarok? Where he's like, I can't beat you, but he can. <laughs> so, I thought it was gonna be something very similar to that, but hey, if it was, I would have started cracking up. <laughs> That's why she didn't come along. Okay, are yo, Dane, the Faunus. Who's there? Your brothers and sisters. M Mata. Oh, hey. Please stop this. Yeah, are you gonna go against your own people? Let's see. Make no mistake, brothers. These are our enemies. Wow, and we will not let them <coughs> ruin. What the? Adam Taurus. This is the Mistral Police Force. The Mistral Lower Police your Force. And surrender peacefully. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh 
Oh my god. What's happening? Not sure. How are you feeling? Better. That's good. Much Ooh. better. Oi. <laughs> Keep it up. Dang. How? How did you do this? The power of friendship and love. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> He's kind of surrounded though, so what is he gonna do? And it's over for all of us. What? No way. What did he just do? Uh, okay, I thought he was gonna. Bruh. What are you doing? Trying to get us all killed? Exactly. And I am making humanity pay for what they've done. Whoa. We sent someone over to confirm your explosives. Nice. And once we did, she disarmed them. Hey, Ilya. <laughs> get fucked. Day, nice one, Ilya. Woo! Nice. What do we do? Nice one. It's your business, <laughs> not mine. Get screwed, Adam. Fix it. Fix it. Get screwed, Adam. I told you, Adam. <laughs> it's over. Dane. Really? Oh my lord. No way did that just happen. Oh, it's over, fam. <laughs> oh, that was a pitiful performance, Adam. What the fuck? Are you serious? That is pitiful. <laughs> Bro, she, she dodged you in a blink of an eye and you got just slapped in one hit. Like, come on. That is pitiful, man. <laughs> a pitiful performance. Kill them! Oh wow, they still went for it. Okay. I thought they would have given up, but I guess not. Oi. Hey, that was wise, wasn't it? Oh my lord! Oh my god, wise! Hey, aura flapping! Oh, they're gonna see Blake, are they? Yep, there you go. Blake. Yang? Damn. Look, let's be honest. Out of everyone from Team Ruby, Yang was most hurt with Blake leaving. Let's be, let's be honest. We've seen it a couple of times during this as well. From everyone from Team Ruby. Everyone was worried, of course. Everyone was sad that Blake left. But it damaged Yang the most. <laughs> let's, let's not kid ourselves. So... Maybe her seeing Blake uh, might make her happy, might have felt relieved or why obviously she's gonna have a go out saying, Why did he leave me? Why did he leave us? We were supposed to be close friends, you know, yada yada. But Yay, go! Okay, I guess not. But... No! Oh damn. Oh wow. Wow he could she controlled herself as well, nice one. Damn, that's a lot of power she's flapping with. <laughs> hey, just just a nod of respect right there. Welcome back. <laughs> no, it was a decoy the whole time. Exactly, get fucked. The last spring maiden must have trusted you a great deal before she died. I bet that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 let's go. This is good. Oh my lord. This is going to be good animation here. Okay, let's, let's calm down. Let's calm down, Dino. Dang. I can't protect your arm. It's grim. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. You turned yourself into a monster just for power. Look who's talking. Dang. <laughs> Yo, speed! <laughs> I am speed. Wow. So this is what happens when two maidens go at it against each other. Kind of reminds me of Goku and Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga. <laughs> Why? Why are these giving me Dragon Ball Z vibes from the Saiyan Saga? You guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so this is this is the power 
that takes place when two maidens go out with each other. Wow, she just makes swords out of thin air like that. She's a maiden, of course, but... So she's been controlling her power systems. Wow! They got each other's sword? Get up! What a... What am I watching now? What the heck am I witnessing? <laughs> oh my lord! Guys, I'm so sorry if I'm kind of getting too excited or screaming a lot with excitement. How could anyone not get hyped at this? How could they? They're destroying the place around them with pure power. The maiden powers are just basically destroying the place. This ain't good. Oh, that ain't good. Oh no, she's out! Oh no, 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 she's siphoning it! No, 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 no! Oh, Yan. She saw Yan coming in, didn't she? Did she? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> hey, look at that song. Okay, she saw the boulder coming to fall down. Hey, yo. <laughs> this is disgusting, guys. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Raven. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Uh oh, her auras. Oh, both of their auras are diminishing. Had enough yet? Oh. Shut up! If you were stronger or more clever, then maybe you'd remember to watch your back. Hmm. <clears throat> wow! You've got to be kidding me! Yeah. <clears throat> Whoa! What did she do? What did she just do to her? Oh my lord. Hakai! <laughs> hey yo, what the heck is she about to do? No way! You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. She legit... Froza. Oh <laughs> she legit just froze her. I don't know how long that's gonna last though. But if you're ice, if you're basically a brick of ice and you fall down, you're gonna break into pieces, right? <laughs> but I doubt Cinder will let that happen. I don't know if Cinder will go down that easily. You know how she how dangerous she was before she was a maiden. And how she is as a maiden now. She's a lot stronger than before. And uh... Yo, but no man. But now coming in with that distraction. <laughs> Verno. Is she okay though? No. Don't she died. Wow, her last act right there. Oh my god, even until the... So till the end, my girl fought. <laughs> my girl Vanel fought till the end. You know what? I, I respect that. I res respect her Vanel. Man, she she gave uh, her last desperate desperation of attack to give Raven a chance. But let's see how, last, how long that ice lasts for. He'll only respond to the Spring Maiden as well, so... Hey, that's so good how they've done this.
careful. <laughs> oh, the rent. Oh, okay. Wait, what the heck? She's in the middle of the. What? The middle of the. That's where the relic is in the middle of nowhere in the desert. That is nuts. Oh my lord. That is crazy. Yang. <laughs> I, I had a feeling it was Yang. Oh, hey, Yang. <laughs> Yo, look how Yang looked, man. The door is not flat. The four fans are layers on top of each other. Ah, okay. That is actually really cool. I like that. Wait, do these represent the... Okay. Because there are four maidens, right? I was going to say maybe it represents the four maidens. I don't know. <laughs> it looks cool, though. Light starts at the bottom of the stem and travels until the stem is completely lit up. Okay. Burning coal rock. Yo, these designs look incredible. Oh my god. I loved the fight between, you know, Raven and Cinder. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Yo, this fight was sick. I mean, honestly, I didn't know which way it was going to go in terms of the fight. Because both of them were maidens and both of them were pretty damn capable of, you know, controlling their maiden powers and able to amplify them when they need to, right? So, at this point, it comes down to, I guess, fighting experience. But at the same time, that distraction that Vanel gave... Uh, that Vanel did to um, Cinder was enough. That split second was enough for uh, Raven to kind of speed up. Like, she's pretty damn fast. Like, I didn't notice it until now in this proper fight. Because we get to see her go all out. Somewhat all out against Cinder, right? She did kind of go all out uh, with against Cinder. She's pretty... I would say Raven is a pretty damn fast character like to fight against. Like, she's very, very fast. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, this, this episode was enjoyable, hella enjoyable, so I'm gonna get straight into the next episode, no wasting time. If you guys wanna go ahead and pause the video to grab some of the DE or drink, that's totally fine. We can go ahead and pause the video, if not, that's fine, we can go ahead and, uh, get this started, shall we? Um, sorry if I've been too excited talking about things, you know, and whatnot. I hope you guys are okay with that, though. <laughs> Keep watching after the credits for a look at the new shows from Rooster Teeth Animation. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, uh, is there going to be an opening song or are they going to just go straight into the episode? Makes sense. <laughs> Considering this the finale, I thought they were like, scrap the opening music and go straight into the episode. Anyone, I love it. I love to see these four get together again. Pitiful mouth from Adam, man. I, I expected Adam to do more, but I guess not. What are you trying to do? Hey, Ilya. What are you trying to do? Really? You're surrounded and you still want to fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn. Damn, nice. Nice lock right there. Jesus. Thank you. It feels good when you help people. Trust I'm me, it feels good. I'm going to make you regret ever coming back. More police are on their way, Adam. <laughs> Houseman too. <laughs> Still too afraid to face me on your own. Bro, you just got slammed by her <laughs> once, <laughs> and he fell to the ground. You couldn't even hit her, fam. <laughs> she dodged your attack. Like she was, she effortlessly dodged his attack. All right, she's not the same. Blake anymore. I'm here for Haven, not you. Damn. <laughs> you are still afraid, and you should be. I've made powerful <laughs> friends while you've been away. Oh yeah? Where? <laughs> Where? Tell me. Does Blake make all of her classmates fight for her? Nah, it's a volunteer gig. <laughs> I'm just saying, for someone who claims to have such great friends, 
There doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight for you. Wait. Whoa, said. Sun will con. Look at that. They're done. You're done for. <clears throat> you can try and make me regret coming here, Adam. But honestly, I've got more important things to deal with. Yo, I love Blake. Blake is so savage. Yo, I came here for Haven, not for you, bitch. Yeah, you worth my time. <laughs> yeah, you worth my time. <laughs> oh, he's so mad. That is so cool. Get smart. Son, wait. But he's getting away. We can take him. No, we can't. He wants to lure us away so he can pick us off. Yeah, duh. Because at this point, it's it's it, 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 it's obvious he doesn't want to fight here. He's got a clear disadvantage. We need to protect the school and the people here. Besides, now he can see what it feels like to run away. Dang. Thank you. Eh, we all need help sometimes. <laughs> I think there's a few people who could use yours. Dang, they're still alive. Be careful. No promises. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> that's so like Son. <clears throat> I, he, I really like Son's character. <gasps> Surviving. I don't know how that big guy's still standing. <clears throat> he recharges his aura faster than I've ever seen. The dust, it's the dust, I'm telling you. Uh, he's sheer willpower. All that, this willpower. We just need to get him to his limit. Exactly. His physical body's gonna hit a limit and he will shut down. Wait. Not bad. That's a lot of power. <laughs> oh, hey, that kick to the face. Are you hurt? N no. I, I just remember you being more of the quiet one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she was. Not today. All right. What's the plan, Ruby? There's no plan. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> nice. Look at this. You've gotta be kidding me. Look at Lionheart getting away. Oh my god. Three. Three on three. Let's go. Okay, I, I should not get too excited. I'm trying. I warned you, Yang. I gave you every opportunity to walk away from Crow and Oz. So you can believe me when I say this wasn't personal. You open the vault. Thanks to the chaos you and your friends caused upstairs. I knew you could handle it. You're my daughter, after all. Crow and Oz told me how the maiden powers were transferred. The girl you found. She would have had to have trusted you if you were in her final thoughts. Cared about you a lot. That's true. That's true. I'm sure they That's true. Because, you know, trading, you know, giving these maiden powers to the next person is a big deal. It's a big deal. You do not want these maiden powers to go into the wrong hands. You do not want that, you know? So, if, like Yang said, um, and like Cinder said, if this person who died uh, as the last spring maiden gave the maiden powers to Raven, she must have trusted her a lot to give it. You know, she trusts her a great deal. She cares about it enough for her to go that far. You know, go the extra mile to give her these maiden powers. So, yeah. They told you plenty, and you just sat and obeyed. No. I'm starting to ask questions like you said. So tell me. What happened to the last spring maiden? Ooh. Did she die in battle? Was it sickness? What does it matter to you? I can already see the answer. It's all over your face. How could you? Wait, she killed the Spring Maiden? She scared when we found her. No, 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 no. No matter how much training I put her through, she never learned. She wasn't cut out for this world. And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. What I did wasn't personal. It was mercy. Okay. Okay. Okay, I take everything what I said back. I take everything back. What I just said. You're telling me that Raven killed the last spring maiden because she thought she was not good enough. And it was mercy. Which is it, Mom? 
Are you merciful? Or are you a survivor? I survived. Did right. you let me walk into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? Oh it's God. not that simple. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. The choices I've had to make. You're right. I don't know you. I only know the Raven Dad told me about. Makes she was sense. troubled and complicated. But she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. Did you kill her too? Ouch. Damn. Savage. I stare death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Damn. You know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others at harm's way instead of yourself. You might be powerful, but that doesn't make you strong. Dang. Who do you think you are lecturing me? <laughs> Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. Shaking? Yeah, I'm scared. But I'm still standing here. Damn. I'm not like you. I won't run. Which is why you're going to give me the relic. And why Ouch. would I? Because you're afraid of Salem! Whoa. You thought having maiden powers put a target on your back? Imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. Oh, she, she's like doomed forever. She'll come after you with everything she has. It's true. Or she could come after me. <laughs> and I'll be standing there. Waiting for her. Hey, this this is why I love Yang. This is why Yang's my favorite out of the four. So don't get me wrong, guys. I like all the girls. All the girls that have such good personalities, such interesting personalities. But Yang is my favorite girl out of the four. No cap. No <laughs> like period. Like. <laughs> Man, Yang. You don't want to do this. Yeah, I think she pretty nope. much wants to. Oh, no, okay. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, okay, she doesn't want to do it, but she's gonna do it anyways. I... Wow. Raymond's actually crying. I'm sorry. What? This is the first time I've actually heard her say that, fam, and her crying. Yeah. Dang. Me too. Oh, damn, she go. Wow, she actually left. Wow, I did not actually see that coming. I'll be honest. Don't tell me Cinder's done for then. Cinder's done? <laughs> I, thought, I thought that wouldn't like stop Cinder knowing she's a maiden, but I guess not. I'm, I don't know. Like, I would never know. She might come back in future seasons. I haven't, it's, you know, there's many more seasons I haven't watched yet. Oh my god. Honestly, I felt I felt like they needed that talk. Both Yang and Raven needed that personal talk. Otherwise, yeah, couldn't have ended a lot worse. Yo, this relic looks godly. <laughs> of course. It was good. Huh. What's this again? The Relic of Knowledge? Is, it, is that what it is? Aww. Oh my god. Man. Right? It reminds me of a saying. If someone ends up crying, if someone cries, it's not because they're weak. It's because they have been strung for too long. Good saying, right? Good thing. There's <laughs> rate out of ten guys in the comment section below. It's not my it's not my old saying, nope. <laughs> Look at this dickhead, this So pitiful. Oh, say no. Where might you be going? Oh, your grace. <laughs> I was just looking for something. Leonardo. Do you have something you wish to tell me? It was Cinder! She altered the plan! Huntsman showed up here! Crow! Several students! 
one with the silver eyes. My fame attack was stopped. I, I don't know that they'll be able to recover the relic. Your Grace, I can still be of assistance. If I leave now, I, I can avoid the authorities and come find you. I I'll do whatever it takes. You're done for. You're done for. Grace. It's over for you. What were you trying to do, you idiot? This, this is what you get, for. You deserve this. You deserve this, fam. You deserve this. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that, that's true. That's enough. Just give up. Damn. It's not over. Cinder will come back. She'll have the relic. <laughs> and she'll stop all of you. Yo, Cinder got her ass whooped <laughs> by Raven. <laughs> she won't let us down. I feel like Cinder's actually done for. Hey, look at Yang. Looking awesome. With that relic right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so I guess the Cinder's done for. Her chapter's done. <laughs> that side glance. Oh wow, Mercury is just Emerald, get up, we need to go. Nah, she's done for. Look at her, she's done. Emerald. Whoa. What whoa ho Excuse me? You've got to be kidding me. What the hell just happened? What the heck just happened? Wow. What was that? That was Salem. An illusion. Oh, wait. That's an accurate one. That was Salem. Yeah, that was Salem, fam. So wait, you're telling me Mercury, not Mercury, uh, Emerald. Sorry, Mercury is the guy, uh, the guy, who, <laughs> the, it's the guy with the silver costume. Uh, she is called Emerald. I got the names mixed up. So you're telling me Emerald went, so she broke, she, my girl broke. <laughs> because if you think about it, she, her whole life, Whole whole mission was basically to serve Cinder, but the Cinder found her when she was, you know, she had nothing, and Cinder's all, I guess, Emerald had, and Emerald always was loyal to Cinder. So I guess when, I guess, I guess the part of us kind of thought Cinder's done for. <laughs> I think she kind of like let loose, and I guess she whipped out an illusion as big as Salem. <laughs> I guess that's what happened. So that was that was Emerald's illusion. That is scary. <laughs> That uh, is actually scary. And there's Adam, of course. <sighs> God, no. Ah, that's cute. The police rounded up the remaining White Fang members. Haven is safe. That's good. Unfortunately, it appears that Adam escaped. It's okay. He was the only one to escape tonight. Those in the White Fang that followed him won't support a leader that abandons his people. True. He won't have their help after this. He'll have no one at all. He'll be on his own, I was gonna say. And the White Fang will be left divided. We've been fighting amongst ourselves for too long. Hmm. Perhaps it's time for a new brotherhood. 
A new family for farmers truly working towards a better world. I can get a new that. leader. Mm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah, go on, go on. Go, go there. Come on. He needed this. Nice one, son. <laughs> what happened? I don't know exactly. When I got down there, Cinder was gone. And Vernal was dead. And Raven? Gone. Okay, she well, decided not to tell her. We're all glad you're still here, Firecracker. <laughs> Firecracker. Uh... Are you okay? I feel like I should be asking you guys. <laughs> so, Blake, what are you doing here? <laughs> I. I was gonna ask you three the same thing. That's a long story. <laughs> well. I'm not going anywhere. That's all that matters. <laughs> that we're all here together. Ah. Uh. Right? <laughs> this song, this song's on point, though, with this episode. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Group hug. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is too cute to see, man. This reunion. It is worthwhile. <laughs> this reunion was worthwhile. Like, shit. I don't know how, but we did it, Oz. You okay? I'm all right, kid. He's resting. Makes sense. Too much energy fighting. Oh, hey, is it, don't strain yourself. No. He had a message. We must get the lamp to Atlas. Atlas. <laughs> oh, as in the relic. I guess he calls that now. Makes sense. It does look like one, but you have to get it to Atlas, huh? So I guess that's the next destination for these guys. Atlas. Oh, these are guys gonna have a target on their backs though, with the relic on their hands. <laughs> I like that, crow. <sighs> Shit, I can't be asked. <laughs> CBA, I need a rest. Yo, this was. How. How um, how can they make this show as amazing as it is? I would never know. Like creativity, the, this 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 story, man. I mean, I can see why people would not enjoy the season as much as opposed to the previous seasons because there's a lot more storytelling than fighting. Fighting, the fighting's there, and the fighting that's done when it is there is amazing. Mm, first class. But there's a lot of storytelling, there's a lot of more character development, more, I guess, screen time for characters to go through their own battles, not with just other people, but with themselves in a way. And I like that. I like that. I like that. It, it was it was good. Yo, this was a great... <laughs> okay, let's... let's... This just was a great show. Oh my god! So wait, how many seasons are there? This is it. Is is it eight seasons so far? So I finished season volume five. There's volume six. Volume six. Bruh, I'm gonna be catching up in no time. Well, if I <laughs> if the um, oh you know blocking situation goes well, you know as well as it is at the moment. As long as it doesn't go that one way, that one time it did for a month. We should be good. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quick forward it a bit so that we get to see the end credit scene. Okay. 
<clears throat> Rooster Teeth killing it. Is this Yang's place? Oh, that's her father. <laughs> Raven, no way! No way! What? Hey, yo! Okay! That's interesting. Oh, no, man, nowhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's. Whoa, 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 excuse me? Okay, let's check this out. I wanna. Yo, this looks good. Hmm. We were very lucky to find him. No, he wasn't. But what about others? Chase Junior. Uh, problematic. There are some new possibilities, but we may need to uh, get more flexible on the subject. Wait. Huh. These are the only matches? They'll have to do, won't they? I don't see how we're going to turn this around. You oh, don't give up hope yet. We're just getting started. Genlock. Coming 2018, obviously. It's been a few years since then. Hey, yo! Yo, that animation was... That animation looked great! <laughs> I mean, it was... It was somewhat of a teaser, more like. Obviously, it was somewhat of a teaser, you could tell. But yo! Okay, anyone who's watched Gemlock, uh, hit me up on how the show is. If, it, if the show is good and what do you guys think of it? Comment in the section below. Also... <laughs> oh my god. Yo, that's an interesting after credit scene right there. It was like, it was only like for a few seconds. But you get to see, okay, so Raven actually goes off to see the husband after all these years, huh? Interesting. Never thought that I would see the day. <laughs> Knowing how Raven was and what I've seen of her, I didn't think it would come to the day where she would actually do this. Um, and here we are, guys. Volume 5 completed, <laughs> and now we'll be going on to Volume 6, Chapter 1, Argus Limited. Ruby, Rose and her friends have been burdened with transporting the Relic of Knowledge safely to Alice. Well, duh. <laughs> well, th there's going to be a lot of stuff going on there. Um, you know, the Relic of Knowledge is now in their possession, and anyone who finds out, <laughs> it's, you're getting, you're, you, you become an instant target, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so... Team Ruby is now back together. Um, don't so basically this is the end for Cinder. You're telling me Cinder's done for? <laughs> it's what I'm thinking. You're telling me Raven shut down Cinder in that last episode. I refuse to believe that because once again I know how capable Cinder is and how sh capable she was before she was a maiden, right? And ever since and then her just getting that maiden powers just made her even more powerful flexible and obviously training to control those powers i don't know i find it hard to believe that she went she actually went down with that attack but then again if you think about it the fight between raven and cinder was so insane that uh both of their aura broke didn't they didn't their aura break free or was it like on the verge of breaking because because the aura is what protects you from lethal attacks uh, I believe that's what the aura does. The aura protects you kind of like a shield, right? And it deflects certain amount of damage and it actually stops you from getting, uh, receiving uh, lethal or any dangerous damages, any dangerous injuries, so that fact. And when the aura breaks, like it's kind of like your shield breaking around you and you become vulnerable at that point. So I feel like when both of their aura broke, uh, I feel like Vanel then caused that distraction before she died, which, uh, dying, like, ripped to Vanel, uh, but respect to her for doing that till the end. She caused that distraction, which was enough. That split second was enough for Raven to somehow get behind her, like, that fast. And then she, it's, it's kind of like she did some, like, 
<laughs> it's a, it's a, a gentle fist <laughs> technique right to her forehead like right to her head and then she just gets smashed and then she just freezes like like raven just throws her into ice like it just turned her into ice so i don't know i i would i want to say that cinder might not be done because because they didn't actually show her dying we just showed up they just showed her getting frozen and then going down uh into darkness so we don't know what takes place you know so but i think it's safe to say that her chapter is done for but at the same time i'm not sure i like her. i doubt cinder has gone down that easily um i don't know that's just my personal opinion but i don't know <laughs> i don't know i guess i will find out in the future seasons and um whatnot so yeah on that note <laughs> your boy is gonna end the reaction right here guys thank you so much for watching my reaction to me watching the finale of ruby uh volume 5 being chapter 13 and chapter 14 today hope you guys really enjoyed it if you guys did enjoy my video today be sure to smash the like button comment and share the list of things so you more content me doing more uh ruby reaction scientists in the future i'm sorry if i was like i said once again i was very energetic i was very excited uh so if i spoke a bit more than usual i do apologize for that um if you guys are new to the channel uh consider hitting that subscribe button and join the drp guild today so you won't miss a single video from my channel guys whether it's reactions to ruby reactions to margie reactions to hollow life any other reaction videos main content series you get to see on this channel so be sure to come in uh you don't have to subscribe straight away you can come in join the ride uh or watch my videos and if you um enjoy my videos then join my journey and subscribe to the channel guys and obviously people who have subscribed uh, go ahead and hit that notification button uh the bell uh, that will be on my channel uh that way uh, you guys will be notified as soon as i do upload videos like this in the future yeah <laughs> so yo this this ruby ending has had me hype fam like i'm not gonna lie oh this was great this yo season five was amazing i mean i like i said i do understand why people feel the way that they do when it comes to season five uh, i can see both sides of the argument but in my honest opinion i loved it i loved it i'm all for you know uh fights but at the same time storytelling is a very important aspect of a show slash series you know i mean i mean there's i guess there's guess uh, shows like dragon ball z out there it's just constant fights 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 and you know but there's some story in there but it's majority of it is fights but you know but uh, i'm all up for more storytelling like it gives you some sort of knowledge about what's actually going on in the past like uh what happened what sort of happened in the past and why you know ozpin is doing what he's doing salem you get to know about more about salem what her goal is you get to know about what ozpin's up to get to know about the relics get to know about the maidens i feel like this is all very informative it's very you know these information i i i feel like it's so interesting to listen to uh but then again i i i guess i go in when it, when it comes to a show i tend to go in with an open mind i don't tend to go and being yeah i need some this i need some that and then you don't get it and then you'd be depressed and disappointed i tend to go in most of the time with a open mind so that i appreciate what i see i appreciate what they've created it's a uh, truly a truly a spectacle to see <laughs> it's, yeah thank you guys for watching this is your boy dina signing out have a nice day, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, peace.